present at this meeting this evening. So I will turn it over to Martin Phillips. Martin. Good evening, everyone, and uh, thank you for attending our meeting. Uh, my name is Martin Phillips. I'm a senior capital projects officer here with the city of Fort Worth. Work closely with uh, Lisette and also work with the arterial team. Um, so um, just happy to be here this evening. And uh, I see uh, Lauren Pure is also on the call. Lauren, would you uh, please introduce yourself as well? Hi, I'm Lauren Prayer. I'm the assistant director for capital delivery, and I'm just listening in. Outstanding. I don't think there's any other, or is there, um, uh, Jeff Allen's on the call as well. And then Ariel Duarte. Hi, this is Ariel Duarte. Um, I am the inspection side, so I am senior inspector. And, and I want to coordinate the inspection with my inspector, Hapti. Thank you, Ariel. Jeff? Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Jeff Allen. I'm a communications specialist with the City of Fort Worth Department of Transportation. And Shweta? Good evening, everyone. I'm Shweta Rao with uh, City of Fort Worth Transportation Public Works. I'll be the project manager on this project. And we also have our contractor for this project on uh, attending. Uh, Texas bit. Aaron, are you on? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, my name is Aaron Perez. I'm project operations manager uh, for Texas bit. Uh, we'll be the uh, main prime uh, building this job uh, for the city of Fort Worth. Uh, we are a, a no stranger to the city. Uh, I believe I worked with uh, multiple people on this call and uh, we should be able to finish this project in a timely and safe manner and try to uh, to minimize any inconveniences uh, in accordance with the phasing now the city is in the outside engine on record has designed it. Uh, but happy to keep growing our relationship with the city of Fort Worth. Thanks, Aaron. At this point, I am going to turn my video off to reduce bandwidth and I'm going to turn it over to Shredda. She has a short presentation. Would you please uh, enter your questions in the chat box and we will answer the questions at the end of the presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Lisette. Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you all to our community meeting for improvements at Bonds Ranch Road at FM 156. Uh, just to get... <coughs> In the chat box, um, and we'll address all of them after the presentation. So, I'm Shweta Rao uh, with City of Fort Worth, like I said, and I'll be the project manager project. Here is our brief agenda. We'll go over the project location, the, pro uh, the proposed improvements, the schedule on construction, and we'll take the questions at the end of the presentation. We have just recently introduced our project team and the project manager, Liz said, will be the program manager. She is my supervisor. He is the design engineer on this project. Greg Miller will be our senior inspector and uh, will also be um, having Ariel and Hapte as our inspectors on this project. Coming to the project location, uh, the proposed improvements are at the intersection of Bonds Ranch Road at FM 156. As you can see, it's a star here on the map. And this improvements are kind of a continuation of our improvements on the uh, west side of the of this intersection, uh, Bonds Ranch Road at just 287 and also at Shad Meadow Drive. Uh, we will be improving this intersection. Um, based for traffic. The project, we will be installing a new traffic signal and then we will be widening 
the pavement here on the northwest corner as well as northeast corner and we'll be providing enough space for the turning movements at the intersection. Um, we will be also providing uh, some storm drain improvements and we will also be providing uh, pedestrian accessibility at the intersection. We'll have the ADA ramps, sidewalk, and uh, we'll make it safer for the pedestrians to cross the intersection. So we will also be doing some payment repair west of this intersection. Uh, it had really bad failure on it. We be doing the pavement um, to increase the safety uh, for the location. Coming to the schedule, we have awarded the contract to Texas Bit. They'll be our contractor for the construction on this project. And uh, we are uh, currently, uh, we need to have a pre-construction meeting with the contractor uh, currently and we're anticipating to start somewhere late January to early February 2022. We will be completed in nine months. Uh, the duration of construction is nine months and we anticipate to complete the construction by October of 2022. contact information in here, my email ID and phone number, and I also have contact information for our uh, contractor, Ronald Stinson, and he'll be our project manager from the contractor's end, and that's his email ID and phone number. So thank you all again for joining the meeting today. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to add to the presentation is the My Footwork app. So it provides easy access for to see um, to see and also kind of uh, request any improvements or um, submit any concerns uh, if you have any using this app. So this app has been really helpful to many residents. Uh, so I just wanted to share with you all um, about this app. So that is all I had on my presentation. Uh, I'll have the slide open for the proposed improvements and um, we'll, uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Here's a question in the chat. Uh, what will happen with the barbed wire surrounding the active cattle pasture at the northwest corner of the project? I think we'll be relocating them to the right of way line at that corner. The red line here shows the city right of way limits. Uh, if the barbed wire is Within the city right of way, that would be moved to the right of the limit. Yes, Shweta, that's correct. Hi, everybody. This is Nolan, the design engineer. So, the existing barbed wire fence there, Scott, um, is outside the existing city right of way. So, the contractor will have to ensure that the installation of the new fence um, occurs under the. Sorry, there's some echo. Installation of the new fence will have to go in before uh, removal of the existing one. Thank you, Nolan. Thank you, Nolan. There's also a question there. How many lanes? Shweta? Yes. So we'll have three lanes going northbound and three lanes going southbound and uh, two lanes eastbound and westbound. Thank you, Shweta. I think those are the only two questions um, that we had in the chat box. Mm. Now I would like the call-in users to ask any questions if they have. If you're if you're called in, you can unmute yourself to ask a question. There's some areas over there um, that. Currently, have some flooding issues. Will that be addressed? 
I'm sorry, we didn't catch, uh, you cut off, so we didn't catch the full question. Can you repeat your question again? Certainly, there's a, a few areas over there uh, where the, the lanes look like they're, they're being widened, uh, like say on the right, heading uh, west on, on Bonds Ranch. There tends to be some flooding there. Is that going to be addressed? Is our grading going to be changed so that uh, isn't an issue? Yeah, Sherry, there's some existing standing water. I know which corner you're talking about, but on all those corners, there exists existing culvert um, pipes that go under the road and the ditches there. And so we'll be extending those culverts and, and the, the ends there to pick up that drainage and, and yes, regrading some of the ditch flow lines to help um, um, you know, control that runoff so it actually gets through the pipe. So there will be updates to the, to the storm pipe and the ditches with the widening. Great, thank you. I see another question on the chat box. So how will this help on Ranch west of 287? So this intersection project is to alleviate uh, the congestion and improve safety at the turn for the turning radiuses for the large trucks that are navigating the intersection. And then like Long said, um, help with some of this drainage here. Uh, so it's very isolated to this intersection. Uh, there's a there's a future project um, that is on the bond on the on the coming bond election in 2022 that will be uh, addressing uh, some of the issues on the um, from 287 uh, to the west. Um, so this project is very much for this intersection. We have we have several programs at the city where we do projects. Um, so that other uh, section of Bones Ranch is on the arterial program. This intersection is under the intersection program. So this intersection will definitely um, help uh, for that traffic that is, is traveling, trying to make these turns, and now they don't have any any turn lanes, uh, and also uh, alleviate uh, the issue with the trucks trying to make these turns and, and flipping or getting uh, stuck in those in the drainage ditches um, plus the drainage. Let me know if you have any other questions about that. I have a question about. I have a question ahead. about the widening of uh, of 156 from 287 to Bonds Ranch and headed on toward Justin. Are there plans to widen 156? And if so, which side of the road are they going to take to do that? The east side, the west side? Can you tell me? Well, I can tell you what I the information that I have. Um, so the uh, the plans to uh, widen uh, 156 from 287 to Intermodal Parkway, I believe, is the is the northern um, uh, boundary right now. It's in the planning stages uh, and design stages with the Texas Department of Transportation. Um, I believe okay. that they are proposing to do a six lane. A section through there, uh, but the project it's unfunded at this point, and they don't have an expected date to begin construction. Um, I'll be more than glad to um, follow up with TechStat and and see if they have any other uh, additional information about that. Um, it okay. looks like there is sufficient right of way uh, to to do to do that six line section through there, but I don't know if the right of way has been acquired all the way throughout, all the way to inter intermodal parkway, but. Um, I will be more than glad if you put your email on the on the chat box or email it to Shweta. I'll be more than happy to follow up with my tech stop partners and see if there's any um, more recent update about that project. Okay. Okay. I there was another there was another question on the chat box. Um, actually, it's several ones uh, on Bunce Ranch. Uh, will there be a left turn lane like in the middle? That's correct. That's what this project is for. Uh, we did not um, include it, uh, a lot of uh, a space for right turn lanes. They will be uh, kind of like a share uh, through and right lane here for where we see the widening. So the, the capacity improvements will be for the left turn lanes. Um, uh, to do uh, another question, as a, the operator of the cattle pasture who 
who and how do I get my information to the contractors? Is that to grant access to the pasture? Yes, that's a great question. Um, if you will email your information to Shweta, we will make sure that we coordinate uh, access uh, to the contractor. Um, we have a form, a, a right of entry form that um, we need to get signed in order for us to be able to access and make sure that we uh, relocate the fence properly. So if you will be so kind to just provide your uh, email or phone number to Shweta, um, we will be able to coordinate that with you. Um, I am going through the chat, make sure that I don't miss, uh, I didn't miss any questions. Those are all the questions that I see in the chat box. Uh, does anyone has any further questions? Looks like we have one more question in the chat box. Um, just came in. Okay. Scroll the way to the bottom. Um, does that four lane section uh, extension go east to Harman? No, it won't go all the way to, to Harman. It would just be a bit east of this intersection. Uh, yes, so uh, the, um, the four lane extension uh, from pretty much the existing section uh, toward Harmon Road is being identified as a future project uh, subject to, you know, funds become available. And also I see um, Mr. Bellows had also a comment on the chat box. Uh, good evening, Mr. Bellows. And you can email Shweta uh, and she will be, uh, she will be able to help you. I have a question. Questions? Yes. Uh, the drainage there, is it going to go down Bonds Ranch or will it go down 156? Nolan, do you want to answer that question? So it, it actually depends on which corner you're talking about. Um, so the existing uh, flow conditions, so depending on what side of the intersection you're on, it may be traveling. Um, north, south, or east, west, um, with this okay, project on the uh, the west, on the west side. Um, yeah. So, are you are you concerned about a particular corner? Well, I just know that some water goes uh, down Bonds Ranch, and then it goes through, uh, like Mr. Bellows' uh, property, and then it runs. Uh, I think through the uh, the Jones property, and then it mm -hmm. also runs through the Lutmer property. So I, that's what I'm interested in finding out. Are you going to be putting more water through there? So overall, um, the existing flow conditions on that west side, yeah, at the corner of both of the north and the south side, um, that those those existing ditch channels. They do travel to the west, um, and so we'll be uh, putting back that same condition. Um, we are improving um, the ditch on the side where we're widening, which is the north side, and so there actually will be added capacity to that ditch since we're regrading it, since we're having to widen and push that out. Um, and so the, overall, the drainage patterns won't change, uh, but the new ditch will will um, not add any adverse impacts downstream. Uh, with the size of the ditch that we're going to regrade. What? Well, well, I just know of the uh, where the water goes under 287. There, it it's causing a flood there now. So if yeah, are you talking about on the west side water, of 287? Yeah, on the service road. Yeah, on the west side 287 of the future bond project, um, the flooding concerns will be um, designed and. Uh, and evaluated there with with the bond project on the west side. And we're aware of um, several of those crossings, and the and then, like you said, the frontage road that intersection gets underwater um, during rain events, and, and those will be addressed uh, during the design uh, of that arterial project. Okay, Thanks, so y'all are not 
doing anything to correct the, that water flow through there. Not not with this project. Okay. Thank you, Nolan. I have another question. Um, I understand that the whole purpose of this uh, project is to add the turn lanes for, for the trucks. So hopefully they don't tip over on top of us because they're trying to make sharp turns. But because we're not also addressing any right turn lanes, is there going to be a shoulder there? You know, because people are using the shoulders for right turn lanes right now. And so I'm just kind of curious, is that going to be factored in? Will there be a shoulder for people to continue to do this? <laughs> We're actually you're gaining a right turn lane on the southbound direction of FM 156. Oh, thank God. Yes. Yeah. So you are getting a right turn lane there. And then, yes, with the Bonds Ranch direction, east west, you know, adding those left turn lanes are going to help, you know, alleviate um, some of those cars that are stacking, wanting to turn left, get them out of the way. So, so those rights can happen a little easier. So, so no, there's not going to be a big enough shoulder for right turns only on Bonds Ranch east west. Um, but adding those left turn lanes will help with the capacity and the and the turning movements. But you and, are gaining and, a right turn lane on the southbound FM 156. On the southbound. Mm -hmm. and, and as you can see on the exhibit, the yellow areas that making those radiuses, improving those radiuses, it's going to also help with those right turners um, as well. Um, let's see. I need to make sure. I have one more comment in the chat box. Will the entire road be closed at some point to complete construction? If so, what does the schedule look like? So we don't anticipate closing the whole intersection for this project. Um, it we will have partial closures and will allow uh, all movements at all time. And uh, we have nine months to complete construction on this project. So, so Shweta, we are. We are going to have a night closure uh, for a few nights. Um, it'll only happen at night, though, and we have to do that to do the full depth repair um, for that area that you see on the screen that's west of the intersection that's, that shows the yellow going across. Um, and so there'll be a, a night detour set up that'll use the um, the, the hillside drive um, roadway. Um, so it'll be a short detour to get around at night. Um, but again, that, that'll just be a few nights uh, and there'll be plenty of advance warning um, notice um, placed out there before the contractor is able to do that. Thank you, Nolan. Thank you, Nolan. I'm that detail. Okay, I see a few, uh, another question on the chat box. What is the plan and result of the construction that is occurring right now on Bonds Ranch and Harmon Road? I believe that um, Alex is on the line. Maybe she can speak about Harmon Road briefly. Alex, are you still on the line? Yes, ma'am. I'm still here. <laughs> would you would you talk to uh, about um, the Harmon Road and and as it relates to the connection with Boston Ranch and and what that schedule looks like? So I am the project manager for Harmon Road. Um, Harmon Road will be completed in March of 2023. Uh, we are currently working really diligently to try to get that roundabout uh, halfway completed by, by at least by February and, and get people moving through that intersection. Um, and so right now, as you all know, the connection to Golden Triangle is closed so we could build these massive retaining walls that are gonna hold up that roundabout. So there's going to be a lot of movement going on between this project and Harmon Road, and we just appreciate everyone's patience. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Uh, I see a comment from Mr. Bellows um, about property flooding already. 
Mr. Bellows, if you get in touch with Shwara, we will get in touch with our stormwater folks and, and try to see uh, what's going on there. Just want to make sure that I have gotten all the questions. Uh, I see another question. A roundabout about Harmon and Bones Ranch will help. Thank you. Great. Yeah, we have someone that uh, thinks that will be helpful. Awesome. Once the project here at Bonds Ranch and 156 um, starts, what's the anticipated turnaround time of being complete? Shara, do you want to answer that question? Yes. Um, so we anticipate nine months for construction of this project. Uh, we are currently anticipating end of October 2022 to complete uh, the project. Thank you. And, and if we can work with the contractor to um, to accelerate that that timeline, we will. Um, we but we also have the restrictions that we want to maintain a traffic open for you guys, so that that extends the schedule. When we're trying to allow uh, traffic through the intersection, you know, all the time. So, but if there's any opportunities for us to accelerate the schedule, we will. It's interesting. Why does like, you know, wherever I, my school, my daughter's school happens to like, you know, immediately the construction starts. This has been happening for me for the last six years and all of them are roundabouts. <laughs> Sorry, like it, it is just a joke, but like, you know, it is uh, at the um, Harmon Road and um, uh, like on the, um, sorry, Heritage Trace, it was that like in just a school drop off. Now we were into IL Texas High School and I had to take this every day <laughs> and this and just right before the last year, we had the one next to it, right? Uh, it looks like, you know, Next year, like, you know, my daughter is going to graduate. Looks like uh, then the construction will finish. <laughs> um, but like, you know, it's a good project, like, you know, as an overall, like, you know, it, it's it, I, just, I, uh, I'm sorry that you have the unfortunate circumstance that it's that you've been having the construction taking place at every single one of uh, of, of your schools. Um, but but these projects are. Uh, 218 bond projects. Some of them, uh, I'm mm -hmm. sure, I think a Harmon Road began in, with a 214 bond and, and then it received more funding with the 218 bond and then it received funds from other sources to try and to, um, to be able to do a complete project. So they, these projects do take time. Uh, this is, this is kind of like the last phase of the 218 bonds ranch um, phase two project, what we call the phase two, which uh, perform, you know, improvements at the northbound uh, intersection with 287 towards Shire Meadow and now this piece. Uh, and then there will be another phase of Bonds Ranch in the 2022 bond. So they do take some time to for us to get the right away and utilities coordinated. Uh, this intersection, we had to work with TxDOT and, and work on an agreement with TxDOT, et cetera. So we begin the projects kind of like at the same time and then we work on them for a while and then all of a sudden they all kind of start yeah. going to construction kind of close to each other uh, we we don't intend that uh, to be the case but there is a great need for us to uh, improve the infrastructure so we're just trying to get to the projects as as fast as we can um, but um I, I apologize for you have to yeah. experience no, it's construction it's around every single one of these things. <laughs> it's just my bad luck. <laughs> anyway, uh, but this is going to help us definitely because once adding those lanes, right now, like having only one lane, like there is no turn lane on there, like in which you're, seems to be you're adding the turn lane onto the right. Uh, yes. or like, you know, on the corners, so which is definitely going to ease up some of the traffic. Uh, just a quick, uh, the one south of uh, Bonds Ranch uh, on the, we're talking about the east side, there is, you have like in a, at the corner, you are looking at, uh, you have the turn lane, but it is not extending in any, any direction, right? Like, and it is just 
you have a turn lane like in the south you're marked it as gray but there is no turn lane like you know which like you know, after turning coming into the bombs ranch right or like you know it's basically adding that like in you know, a north side actually pretty much equivalent to a turn lane towards east Dolan, do you want to answer that? I believe he's he's talking about a right turn lane, maybe for the eastbound. The right turn lane, yes. Coming from right. the uh, south northbound to uh, uh, towards east towards Harmon Road. Oh, oh, for the northbound direction. Yeah, for the northbound in. uh, turning into Bonds Ranch, right? I I I see a right turn. Lane yeah, that is, there is a yellow patch there, like, and I'm seeing that, like, that is, uh, you know, well intended, which is good, because that's a congestion point anyway. But yeah, like, is that the once... corner that has the existing retaining wall? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're pushing that back, widening that corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but to help, uh, to help with that after, movement. But there is no actual lane, like, in you know, a merge lane, like, you know, for the traffic coming from that direction, right? It has to stop for the traffic which is coming from the uh, uh, eastbound traffic, right? Correct. Yeah, it's still a single single eastbound lane on the east side of the intersection. Correct. There's okay. no additional lane that then would have to merge. That's correct. Okay. I wish that is there because then the traffic flow, like you know, eastbound traffic will be much easier because that's a lot of traffic in that part. In that side, like and especially the school drop offs. Once you drop off, like and you have to come out from that side and like and everybody will be coming east. That's where like, I spend most of my day, morning time, by the way. Yeah, unfortunately, that, that, that's not part of the project. And yeah, you would, that would help alleviate a little bit, but then you'd have a merge or a, a conflict of a merge, you know, east of the intersection. Um, but if you can kind of tell, we, we had right away constraints there. We had to acquire some um, to, to get that corner and the new signal in. You know, with the new signal as well, uh, it's, a, you know, the, the we're installing a, a, an entire new signal, so the the timing and the operation will be improved at this location too. Okay. So so hopefully it will alleviate you know the timing and, and get you through a little quicker. So that's good. Thanks, Thanks. Roland. Do we have any more questions? I think we cover all the questions in the chat box. I'm checking it one more time. I know uh, that Shweta covered it in the presentation, I think, in terms of completion timeframes. I know October, I think, 22. Uh, That's nine correct. month time frame. Is that correct? That's, I think that yes, was one question. Correct. Was, um, we yeah. were anticipating storm construction late uh, January, early February, and um, okay. It's about a nine month time frame um, because we're trying to maintain traffic open um, at all times. Um, we, if we, if we work with the contractor or if they, they have means and methods to try to work, you know, quicker, we will. Um, but we realize that, uh, that there's a need to maintain traffic open at, at this location. So we want to do that. Um, and, and that's all we have. Um, if you have any further comments or questions, uh, please feel free to reach to any of us, um, you know, Shweta or myself or Martin uh, or even Jeff, and we will be more than happy to uh, find the information and get back with you. I wanted to thank everyone for taking time of your busy evening to come uh, and have a conversation with us about this project. Um, and we look forward to continue to improve the infrastructure in this area. Uh, with that, you guys have a great night, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That, we did have one more question come in. Oh. Um, where's the staging area going to be for the project? Um, I believe Aaron uh, will be able to answer that. Um, the contractor uh, actually works that out with uh, individual property owners. But Aaron, do you want to answer that? Yes, ma'am. What I'll do is I'll coordinate with uh, Sweta and uh, the city inspector, and uh, we'll definitely stage within the city right away. We won't disturb anyone's property, um, and we'll stay 
out of traffic where it's no danger to um, to existing traffic that goes on every day. Um, I do want to reiterate, like I said, this this project is in multiple phases, so uh, there will be sometimes a little bit of traffic changes, uh, but we'll try to make it as easy as possible uh, for everyone. And I know sometimes it can get a little confusing, but we'll have the proper signage and layout um, so everyone can go east, west, north, south, and uh, get to their destination. Thanks, Aaron. So Aiden, uh, just like Aiden said, we'll have a lot of advanced warning signs and we'll provide uh, all the communication quite in advance before changing any of the traffic patterns at the intersection. Um, I think that's the only comment that we had. So thank you all again for joining the meeting this evening. And I just wanted to add one more point at the end that uh, this presentation was recorded and we'll have it posted on the project website. Um, so if anyone has missed the presentation or if anyone wants to, um, I mean, go through it again, uh, they could visit the project website for the presentation. Uh, with that, thank you all again for joining the meeting tonight. Have a good evening, everyone.